Um, Oscar Wilde once said that the uh, definition of a cynic is a person who knows the price of everything and the value of nothing. And, you know, it is good that we have, historically speaking, some figures out there who have been more value-oriented, like Buddha, Jesus, and Robin Hood. And if they hadn't existed, we would have invented them. And maybe we have in many ways. And because we need, we need value-based um, a value-based horizon, so to speak, uh, when we speak about development and the world. Especially when we know that there are approximately 925 million people going to bed each and every night being hungry and malnourished. Of these 925 million, approximately 13 to 14 million are actually in the situation of living through a famine, like they're doing on the Horn of Africa. So the question is, do we have the funds and the money to uh, eradicate poverty? Or rhetorically speaking, we could say, can we afford not to? And it is in this, um, with this backdrop that we have the very interesting uh, new uh, development on the horizon and with this Robin Hood text, these financial transactions coming to fruition. And as we've heard, the Norwegian government is very supportive. We don't know how much revenue that is going to create, but we know that there is going to be considerable money out there. And, you know, if you're a politician, this must be heaven, because it is so difficult to work on a long-term basis in order to eradicate poverty. Most of us in the business, we have a three, four timeline in front of us, and then we don't know, are there going to be more money coming our way after those three, four years? And that makes for poor projects, poor project implementation, and there are a lot of poor projects out there. Now, of course, there have been a lot of intellectual and practical endeavours in order to try to pinpoint how much would it actually cost us as a global community to eradicate hunger. Uh, the FAO, the uh, Food and Agricultural Organization of the World, has said that we need approximately 30 billion US dollars per year in order to eradicate hunger in the short run. That means up until 2020. After 2020, the situation is going to be different because of rapid population increase. By 2050, we are going to be at least two more billion people on this planet, and most of them are going to be born in the global south. That means that they are going to be born poor. Um, Jeffrey Sachs, the globally renowned economist, who has been working a lot of years for the UN, has estimated that if the world's governments pay heed to the UN um, declaration that all governments should at least pay 0.7% of their gross domestic product towards ODA, Overseas Development Assistance, then we would be able to eradicate poverty. As you know, there are are approximately five or six countries in the world who reach this target, amongst those most of the Nordic countries. Now that means that we are lacking approximately 158 billion dollars in order to reach that goal. Those are figures you can read out of the UN uh, different statistical data. Um, there are at present, certain very interesting national uh, schemes eradicating poverty as we are speaking here, like in Brazil. We have the Bolsa Familial, which is the, uh, I don't know how you've translated that to Norwegian, the, the, the family purse or something, uh, which is a, a set amount of money which are given to the poorest segment, approximately 12 million. Um, persons, 12 million families, sorry, in Brazil, every month receive a small amount of money 
and they have to use this money towards schooling for the children and certain food items, and they have to ri uh, buy the right type of food. They can't just buy sweets or whatever. They have to, you know, buy fruit and stuff like that. And this has led to the fact that Brazil is one of the few countries in the global south which has been able to meet their um, uh, goals put forward in the Millennium Development Goals. Uh, they have eradicated large parts of poverty for the poorest segments, uh, percentage, percentage wise. And this has cost them, or this will cost them approximately $15 billion per year. Some of that money has come as a loan from the World Bank. So, from the development point, uh, and from the development funds point of view, we would like to see part of the money coming from this new international uh, funds going towards uh, sustainable agricultural practices. Because within the next 50 years, sustainable food production is going to be the big issue. And a climate resilient food production with small scale farmers at the forefront is going to be the one thing which might uh, help us on the way to eradicate poverty. Thank you.